Hey everyone, so I get a lot of questions about how I put items into my portfolio and I use WordPress self-hosted website and a plugin called Media Grid to create these kind of light boxed uh, portfolio pieces that when you click open up in a light box and kind of have a little bit of an explanation about what I had planned to do and what my what my goal was with the item. So today I'm going to show you how I upload my storyline files and how I share them. So I have a published file ready to go. This is my FTP client. I'm going to open up my finder, go to that course, which is getting things done. And all I'm going to do is highlight all of this content and drag it over to my FTP client. So we're just going to wait a quick moment while all of this uploads. I like to use Fetch as my FTP client because it has a cute little running dog as its, uh, its kind of timer and or in progress icon, I guess. All right, so now that our file is uploaded, we're just gonna go to find it. <clears throat> and what I want to do here is I want to see the story file and I'm going to take a screenshot of it because I need an image to put into Media Grid. So we're just going to take a screenshot of this initial opener. All right, we've got that. And so now that we have it uploaded, I've got my image, we are going to go into Media Grid, which is a plugin that you can go and find. So you can click into your plugins, you can search for Media Grid, you can find it, install it, and I'm going to show you how it kind of works. So <clears throat> once you're in Media Grid, you're going to select Add New Item. And I'm going to put a title of getting things done. And then I already wrote up a little write-up, so I'm going to copy that. And in here you would put your description of the project, and I'm going to add click here to view the full interaction. And then I'm going to grab that URL, go back to my item, and highlight click here, insert the link, Make sure it's opening in a new tab. And I'm going to put this as a professional item category. Now the item categories are important because when you go to um, Grid Builder, which is going to be one of our next steps, you'll need to select uh, which category it was, it was placed in. So I'm putting this in professional. Um, and then what's very important, the reason why I couldn't get this to work originally when I very first uh, started using it is that I wasn't setting up a featured image. So we want to set a featured image. We're going to upload that file that I just took a screenshot of. We've got Ryan Gosling because I was uh, demoing him at K uh, Core 4 <laughs> last week because I uh, didn't have access to my laptop and couldn't take screenshots. <laughs> so let's set that as our featured image. And then once we have that as our featured image, we're going to hit publish. Once the publishing is finished, we're going to go to Grid Builder. Now this is where you put items into your portfolio. So um, as you can see, I have two main grids. One is portfolio, one is screencasts. So screencasts is where I house all of those how-to videos that I do, where I'm going to probably house this video. Um, and we're going to select portfolio. Under portfolio, we can choose our item category and we put this in professional. And then from select an item, you're going to go find your item. So getting things done is our item and we are going to hit add. Then what I want to do is I want to bring this up to the beginning because it's one of my newer items. So let's just drag it, click and drag it to where I want it to be. So we've got it in the first now and then we're going to hit save grid. Now when we go over to my portfolio site, 
hit refresh, you're going to see the new interaction. Um, actually, one moment, let's backtrack. We're going to edit this item. And I think I had it as static image. That's the issue I had. So I'm going to put this in as custom content, 900 pixels, which is what I've been using as a standard. And then we'll update it, and then it should work. So now it's clickable. You can see there's our title. You click it. You're going to get a description, and then you can click here to view the full interaction. And that's how easy it is to use MediaGrid to share your portfolio.